welcome back to interview buddies in today's video we are going to talk about data sets in hugging face uh, how you can upload them what are the different formats you can upload your data set to the having hugging face um, so let's get started i have two windows open on the right side i have hugging face uh, so data sets are basically data and these are like crucial for training evaluating improving machine learning models um, these are used for research development deployment in various fields including nlp computer vision audio etc so if you are using hugging phase you might have seen it or downloaded it but if you haven't uh, uploaded any data set yet then uh, here you can you can learn how to do that so on this model page you can see there's a format json csv parquet text um, and then we have this image folder sound folder so it's for sounds and images etc um, so common format for uploading uh, your data like if you are doing nlp you can use json csv parquet or text in this video i'm going to show you how you can upload json and parquet uh, because text in CSV is kind of straightforward. Click on this profile icon if you already have a profile. So click on that and you can just say create new data set or you can do that by going here. So if I do a new data set, it will open a page which will ask you uh, what kind of data set, like basically your data set name. So let's call it uh, JSON DS right and whether you want to make it public or private uh, that you can choose here right um, so i will choose as public and i'll create the data set so here it has created a page where you can uh, you know upload your data actual data files so go to files and versions and you see there's like a default git attributes that they have created and on here you can create new files okay so the thing with with hugging face data sets is it, it expects kind of two files for your data set one is for uh, training and one for validation right so on my left side I have I have this uh, directory called as JSON and here I have two files. Uh, one is train.json, other is validation.json. So let's see quickly. So you see it has all the training data. And similarly in my validation file, same data, but it's for validation purposes. So I'm going to upload these two files here, upload files, and I can either drag and drop them or browse them so I'll just so I have selected both train.json validation.json and adding training and validation data so that you remember what you have changed what you have uploaded so you just say commit changes to main and that's it that will upload your data set now go to your data set card here and you see your data is like ready kind of ready here and there is a small SQL console window or or the bar where you can uh, search this data, search this database and it right now it's saying it's not available which is fine it takes a couple of minutes to do that so if I refresh this page you see it's available um, so how you can search that uh, either you can search on train or you can validation you can search on validation data set and it says that I, my training data has five rows my validation data has two rows so that's kind that's the kind of a split it's showing right now um, so if I say that uh, Python if I'm searching for Python here it brings out two records uh, so that's kind of a searchable right so this is my data set in in kind of json format that i uploaded now if i go back to my profile i have few other data sets as well which are like uh, fine sorry models which are kind of fine-tuned and other data sets which i have uploaded before 
none of them is parquet um, so let's try to upload parquet from a data set uh, so the thing about parquet is uh, it's kind of not uh, straightforward like in json you can you can create your json data set right directly right um, but parquet you have to convert through your json data set so i can use the same data set files and convert them to the parquet and upload them here uh, but why parquet so there's a slight difference or like i would say there's a lot of difference between both the formats but the major difference between parquet and json so json is like more human readable um, and it's easy to parse and it's a very common commonly used data structure uh, it's a structured and it supports uh, nested data structures right it's ideal for a small data sets uh, i mean it can have large but it's perfect for smaller data sets to have json format parquet on the other hand is a column storage file format it is optimized for big data processing uh, enhance perform enhancing performance in analytics it ensures efficient storage and retrieval especially uh, it's especially beneficial for large data sets and it's better suited suited for analytics and data processing frameworks like spark and if you have complex queries and transformation um, the other uh, difference is like json is is kind of a it's used when you need uh, some manual in inspection or adjustment right in parquet on the other hand it supports faster read write speeds efficient compression um, reduces storage cost cost etc so if if i go back to hugging face data sets right if i randomly click any of the any of the uh, data set here and go to the files and versions here and you see this is the parquet format you see here so any data set like because these are large data sets and they were converted into parquet format for this main reason because they are efficient and supports faster read writes and efficiently compressed etc right so now lo let's go back and create a new data set um i will call it parquet ds right keep it public create data set and your card is here and if you go to files and versions you can add a new file or upload new files here right but i don't have any parquet files yet so how do i do that so if i go back to my parquet folder it has similar json files that i have uploaded just now i want to convert them to the parquet format so i have written a small two lines python program which is parquet.py um it's using pandas so it's saying that read uh, my train.json and convert it to parquet format right so if i just run this python parquet.py right it converted now i'm going to edit this file and add your validation.json as well and here as well okay and run it again okay now go back to my parquet directory and now you see i have two files which is like train.parquet validation.parquet so i'll be uploading these two files parquet data i'll just say that and comment changes to main and it has uploaded right you see the parquet file symbol is here and go back to the data card and now here you can see the data because it processed the data and it's easy to see and now if i refresh it did you have search available just like uh, the json right um, and you can search the data set and everything so yeah so that's how you can um, 
अपलोड योर डेटा इन टू जेसन और पा के फॉर्मेट इन टू द हगिंग फेस दैट्स ऑल फॉर टूडेज वीडियो इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई शो यू हाउ यू कैन कन्वर्ट योर जेसन डेटा टू पा के यूजिंग डिफरेंट कमांड लाइन टूल्स दैट्स ऑल फॉर टूडे थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू हिट सब्सक्राइब बटन